Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 369. To date, we have the Young Guns Hunt featuring 2022, 23, Series 1, and Series 2. Six hobby boxes of each, gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, going after, you know, all the top Young Guns. So, Beneers, um, Power, I mean, Slavkovsky, right? You name it, we'll try and pull them. Boldy, Rossi. <laughs> there's actually, there's more than, now that I think about it, there's more good ones than what I, like, originally thought. So here we go, three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. Good luck. And running this a little bit earlier on a Tuesday just to beat the heat a little bit because it gets really hot with all the lights and stuff that I need for recording and just the cameras and stuff even. So here we go, once. Twice, third time, and also I'm going to need time to sort the cards because it's going to try and get them packaged up with the stuff from last week and dropped off tomorrow. And three times on the teams. Here we go. Good luck. Once, twice, third time. Columbus on top, Winnipeg on the bottom. Here we go. All right, Pierre, you've got the Columbus Blue Jackets, Brent with the Philadelphia Flyers, Kevin with the Vegas Golden Knights, Robert with the Bruins and Senators, Brandon with the Oilers, Bill, you've got the Panthers, Jason with the New York Islanders, Kevin with the, uh, this is Kevin Dorsch with the Hurricanes, Dan, you've got the Kraken, Brent with the Lightning, Mark with the Leafs, Kevin Dorsch with the Kings, Chris with the Canucks, Robert with the Sabres, Ryan with the Wild, Marshall with the Red Wings, Emil with the Flames, Richard with the Blues, Jacob with the Avs, Brian with the Predators, Robert, you got the Rangers, Dan with the Devils, Robert with the Capitals, JD with the Penguins, Dennis with the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, Jason with the Dallas Stars, Craig with the Coyotes, Ryan with the Habs, Richard with the Sharks, Sergio with the Ducks, and Marshall with the Jets. So there are your teams. I'll get them into the team viewer here. It is, I think Seattle's probably, Seattle, Buffalo, I'd say, are like wild, probably the main like three teams that you want. Habs are good too. Yeah, Habs are good. Um, Dallas is, I mean, Dallas, you have Johnson, whose stock's finally going up. Um, to me, it's kind of wild that he was below some of the other young guns, just given how good he is. And like, he had the best results of pretty much any of the rookies. So outside of Kuzmenko, but Kuzmenko is also like a lot older. So there's that. All right, there we go. Yeah, it should be fun. So hopefully everyone's having a good day. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. And hopefully everyone stayed as cool as they could because it is toasty out. Uh, Vegas, you have... Um, they have... They have their slew of guys last year. I think, like, you have a couple players at least, but... I don't think anyone major, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm just gonna turn the mic down slightly. There we go, that's probably better there. I think you've got, you've got Korzak, Hayes, Patchell, and then Ben Jones. So you got four young guns at least, but like, they're not, they're not good. The best players, you know. <laughs> actually, you know, you know who's actually a good sleeper team in this that a lot of people will be like, oh, like I have the Coyotes. I, I'm not super excited, but like you've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with like Michelli and Gunther being two of, I'd say the better young guns, although underrated. So like the Coyotes are actually one of those teams that you could end up with like a stack of cards. So all right, here we go. We'll start with, let's start with series two. We'll do this kind of the box battle style that we always do with series one, series two, whenever we do breaks with this, where we try and see which one will do better. So 
Nashville, yeah. Nashville is... Nashville, you're hoping for an insert. Like a rare insert. But... Next year, Nashville should be a solid team, I think. Uh -huh. 159 on the box numbers. It's funny because Nashville was kind of that team that was similar to Arizona where they had, I guess you know, was doing, doing good, but you know, people were kind of just like, oh, like they're not a big market team, but they had some good players who weren't like immediately jumping off the page as stars. And then they had Tommy Novak explode out of nowhere this year. So who knows? You never know what happens though. Um, again, if anyone has a really weak break, we'll try and, uh, try and top up your pack a little bit. Especially, again, there is no shutouts here, so. You never know though. Sometimes there's a Sometimes there's some surprise. So good luck everyone. Let's get started. Let's see let's see something sick. Oh, there's definitely a big element of risk with breaks, so uh Barkov for the Panthers on the Lunchbox Legends. Five, six, uh Kuzmenko for the Canucks on the Young Guns. Start there. He sometimes has Slavkowski, right? So, the uh, ironically, the best breaks over the past few years, like bang for your buck wise, have been Team Canada stuff. Um, soft corner on that one, but that's pretty common with this year's series, too. So, uh, Blake Coleman on the instant impressions for the Flames, but yeah, like this year's series, or like, uh, welcome to Nashville for the Predators. Uh, normally Team Canada Junior stuff, especially when there's like an elite player in it, do like do pretty well. Lindholm for the Flames. Uh, Eichel for Vegas. So the past couple years have been solid. I mean, the past three years really have been solid because Lafreniere had a ton of hype. So World Junior grads at Caulfield for the Habs. Kate's for the Flyers. Uh, Prow for the Sabres on the Young Guns. Buffalo's another good team in this. French variation of Ekblad for the Panthers. Clear cut of the Nuge for the Oilers. Seven, eight, and Konechny for the Flyers. So first half done. Yeah, like there's, again, with anything with trading cards, there's always risk, right? It's, um, I mean, series one and series two are generally your better bang for your buck products. And even then there's still risk. And as you get into the higher and higher end products, well, I get more and more risky. I mean, we've had we've had tins of the cups and breaks that like. I'm glad they were in mixers because if someone bought the tin individually, like it would have been like an oof. But then again, you see the boxes that have like insane stuff, and you're just like, well, maybe. But if you like collecting cards, like, you know. Breaks can be a good way. I, I think we'll start getting back to doing some team picks too. Um, just cause it's a good way to get like some cards for teams and stuff or like, you know, just try out a product without paying the full price for it and seeing if you like it. Um, yeah. Uh, Riley Walsh on the honor roll for the devils. Slavkovsky. 
So this is the uh, one box of series two that you do want to get is the Kuzmenko Slavkowski duo. Cause I mean, the two top selling young guns, it's really weird actually that they're in the same crop, but slight soft edge on that. Uh, Sogard on the rookie portraits for the Senators. Uh, that is a base variation, I believe, of Matt Dumba for the Wild. I believe that's a penalty box variation here. We'll set it to the side. I'll sleeve it and top load it after, but I believe that is a base variation. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Welcome to Toronto. Four, five, six. Chaffee, Chaffee for the Wild. I forget how to pronounce his name. I looked it up and I forgot it. Uh, Holloway on the Young Gun Canvas for the Oilers. Atard for the Flyers. Lunchbox Legends of Makar for the Avs. Kuzmenko on the Dazzlers for the Canucks. Ben Myers for the Avs on the Rookie Portraits. And Regenda for the Ducks. So I believe this is the base variation, the penalty box of Dumba, because one of the like the unannounced variations this year. But yeah, we'll uh, stick it to the side. If I see a regular Dumba when we're cycling through the base, we'll compare. But I believe that's a variation. It makes sense because we didn't have a hit. So I. Uh, Series 1 is going to have a tough time beating that box just because we got Kuzmenko and Slavkowski in it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what uh what hobby products do next year with the dart. And I mean, basketball, basketball and hockey are going to be nuts. Because you've got, um, I forget how to pronounce his last name. It's, but the, the like insanely tall... 18 19 year old basketball player who's like got an insane shot and just insane game he'll go first like you have two legitimate generational prospect drafts this year so it's gonna be an it's gonna be an exciting year for cards i would say One thing, one new product I'm actually excited to see is that Parker's Champions. That's supposed to come out late summer now, I think. In terms of release schedule too, uh, Trilogy comes out next Thursday. So we'll probably have, our breaks will probably go live. Uh, I don't know, we'll probably have more details later, but um, Normally we post them the day of release, but I'm trying and see if we can have an actual release day break there. And then apparently we should get the checklist for ice this week, hopefully. Um, if it's coming out on the first, if it comes out on the first, same thing there. We'll try and get some, uh, some breaks of that. But if not, I think we'll plan like a special end of the month break, so. Uh, Tanner Janot on the Rookie Retrospective for the Predators. Good throw for the Flames on the Portraits. Hodgson for the Flyers. Flyers have a lot of stuff in this too. Robertson for the Stars. On the Honor Roll. Defense Mechanism of Vince Dunn for the Kraken. Duchesne for the Predators. Uh, McBain for the Yotes. A little bit of soft corner on that guy. Uh, center of attention. Gold of Dubois for the Jets. Where's he going to go in the offseason? Perfetti for the Jets on the debut dates. Probably Montreal, but we'll see. Bobrovsky for the Panthers. He's back on the case. Ben Myers for the Avs. K 
cousins for the sabers. I am wearing a, I don't think you can see, okay, there you can see it in, a ref, in the reflection. I'm wearing a bright yellow shirt, like a yellow gold shirt. And the foil always reflects to look, make it look like it's high gloss. So I like catch myself being like, oh, we have a high gloss every single card. It's like, wait, no, it's just my shirt. I try not to wear it on days that I have breaks and I just forgot about it. Especially when you're doing like series one or anything foily, it's like, it's like, oh no. Yeah, the other uh, main hockey topic kind of making the rounds lately has been just, what are the Leafs gonna do? Like, will Kyle Dubas be back? Will one of their core players be back? Is Matthews gonna sign an extension? Is, what are they gonna do about their goaltending? Like, a bunch of questions. Bobby Brink for the Flyers. Oh, black and white canvas. Uh, check off for the Carolina Hurricanes. That's a nice one. Not getting as much playing time, but I wonder if the Hurricanes are going to keep them or try and trade them. Because they tend to like just get their young goalies out and then they just like have a read that they might not be as good as what they seem and then just get assets for them. Center of attention of Stutzla for the Senators. Uh, French variation of Doughty for the Kings. What else is there in hockey news today? Sandberg for the Jets. There's the Arizona Coyotes arena vote, so we'll see if they're going to stay in Arizona. Canvas of Cole Cylinder for the Blue Jackets. Uh, Pionk for the Jets on the defense mechanisms. Marner on the portraits for the Leafs. So, Cates for the Flyers. He's had a, he had a pretty good year, actually. Pretty underrated player right now. Thomas for the Blues. Yeah, the new Arizona Stadium, it's in a better location if the deal goes through. Debut date to Byfield for the Kings. Um... And Young Gun Canvas is border low for the Sharks, so not a bad box, but it's definitely a uh, definitely a clear cut win for Series Two there. Yeah, the new arena location for Arizona much better than their um, current situation. Well, their their old situation, their current situation. I mean. Make of that what you will. I think it's kind of it's kind of just like cool at first, but now it's like okay. It's probably worthwhile to have an actual NHL sized rink because it'd be really weird if they got Bedard and he'd go to a rink where he's playing in front of less people than what he did in Canadian Junior. <laughs> There's that, there's the Senator's ownership group. So that one is very interesting as well because um, depending on the outcomes of that, you might see some more, you might see a couple owners decide to sell. You might see a the NHL look at actually bringing in, I know there's the rumors of them adding expansion teams. Um, you might actually see them follow through on that because if the Senators sell for like, over a billion US, then you can charge over a billion US for an expansion fee. And for the NHL, that's kind of like a no brainer. I mean, the talent's there, I would say. Both Vegas and Seattle have come into the league and have done well. The cap's tight as well, so that actually 
um, a mechanism of alleviating the cap pressure if the cap's not going up is to actually add an expansion seams. Yeah. And like, I doubt Quebec will ever be one because Quebec is that back door in case of emergency break glass team where you know you know that you can move a team there in case a team needs to relocate. There you go, there's Gunther for the Oats. So like if the Arizona Coyotes arena deal fell through and they needed to move to um, move to a new city, like Quebec could instantly just swoop in and take the team. Carter Hart on the instant impressions, which is probably kind of why you haven't seen a team there yet. Rossi on the Calder for the Wild. Zuccarello for the Wild on the canvas. Excuse me, Lazotte for the Wild on the Young Guns. That's a lot of Wild. Patterson, World Junior Grads for the Canucks. Spence for the Kings on the Rookie Portraits. Grant Hudden for the Islanders. On the young guns. Doughty for the Kings on the canvas. Eichel on the World Junior Grads for Vegas. Perot for the Ducks. And Lixell for the Flyers. All right, next half. Here we go. Be nice to see. Like, I'd like to see a Young Guns, like a Young Guns exclusives or high gloss parallel today. No, they're a lot harder to get than normal, but and we haven't pulled a Young Guns high gloss in a in a while. It feels like, um, feels like we're due. They should be about one in every, how many cases was it? It should be one in every, is it 50? Something like that. Because if it's, because the Young Guns exclusive should be one in every five cases right now. And so 10 less print run, it should be about one in every 50. Would be a rough, rough estimate. You get an exclusives per case. There's 50 young guns. There's 250 cards. So that's how the math works out there. Uh, French variation, Lundestrom for the Ducks. Got a highlighters of Craig Anderson for the Sabres. We'll sleep and topple that one up after. Turcot, or why did I say Turcot? Tuck for the Sabres. Six Lucas Johansson for Johansson for the Capitals. Rookie portraits of Michelli for the Yotes. I don't think he's a short print, but definitely was one of the top rookies this year. Probably should have got more Calder recognition than what he got. Uh, World Juniors grad gold of Mr. Austin Matthews it is actually gold. So it's not my shirt reflecting it. <laughs> in the cool stuff. I haven't seen a Dumba base, not that I've been keeping a good eye out for it, but. Welcome to Las Vegas. A Kodiak for the Devils. Uh, Young Guns checklist, the canvas checklist between Ottawa and the um, Yotes. So. And as per usual with the Young Guns checklist and stuff is that say we were to pull the black and white canvas variation of this or like the plate, um, we'd random off that one and then the loser would get the better one. Same thing with the uh, Young Guns checklist because they're random this year, but uh, who has the Yotes? Robert has the Senators and Arizona Coyotes is Craig. So yeah, it's kind of the fairest way to do those. Bobby Brink on the honor roll. 
Kyle Connor on the Lunchbox Legends. And Braid and Tracy for the Ducks on the Dazzlers. So that's definitely a beatable box. Didn't seem that strong. Trying to think. We might do um, upcoming. I know we've got a couple breaks this week. They might take a little bit longer to fill than normal, but um, trying trying to do some different mixes and stuff. I was gonna redo the same like Allure SP authentic mixer from the past couple weeks, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. So um, might do like a double up or something of couple boxes each of the series twos um from the past couple years or something like that so i think this is 994 on the box numbers it's not gonna focus there we go all right what else is there there is I mean, there's just a lot of talk about what the Leafs are going to do next year in the hockey world. A Marner, I'd like... A Marner trade makes some... Kind of makes the most sense to me, but... If they're going to change things up, but I have a tough time figuring out who they're going to trade him to and get, like, equivalent va value back for him. Um, Because, like, I think if you're trading Tavares, you're probably giving up assets... But I'm not sure. Um, he is a center, at least, and not a wing. But, like, wingers don't have a ton of value right now. See the Vancouver Canucks having 40 of them. Yeah, my hot take for the Canucks is that given their cap situation, how much it take to unload a winger, they should just try like a four four forward, one defenseman structure. Dry settle for the Oilers. It'd be different, but if there's a team that's gonna make it work, it'd be a team that's got that many uh players. Braden point on the portraits. Uh Puiston for the Penguins. Raymond on the honor roll. Defense mechanisms of Cider, also for the Red Wings. Carlson for the Sharks. Frederick Karlstrom for the Stars. Uh, freestyles of Jason Robertson for the Stars. Those are kind of rare to get. Stutza on the center of attention again. Apparently he really wants our attention. French variation of Suter for the Red Wings. Uh, Kolachinuk for the Yotes. Uh, Gensel for the Penguins. All right. Let's see, I mean, we want to see a Beneers, right? We want to see a Matty B. Which, I mean, both Matty Bs, I guess. All right, here we go. Let's, uh... Let's see something cool here. We need something unique. Jack Quinn, there we go, there's a good start. 
He was a player I was not as high on at draft day because, and also did not think he would convert well to a center, but he has been really good. I think Buffalo has arguably the best head coach in the league. Uh, center of attention gold of Erickson Eck for the wild. So, but yeah, Sabres are one of those teams that interesting in the offseason. Rookie retrospective of Raymond for the Red Wings. Nelson for the Islanders on the Dazzlers. There we go. The man of the hour, Maddie Beneers. Probably the top young gun from this class, from this rookie crop. I would say. He's a forward, going to be a key part of the biggest team or like the of like a brand new team. Like he's got a lot going for him. And Skinner for the Sabres. Uh, Pionk, yeah, Pionk for the Jets on the defense mechanism. Uh, rookie portraits of Schneider for the Rangers. Matias Michelli for the Yotes, good one there. Not the instant sleeve and topo territory, but good one definitely to hold on to. Jared McCann for the Kraken. That's my boy. Byfield on the debut dates again. And Tara Bynum for the Hurricanes on the canvas. So that's a bit better. Nice little Matty B. All right, uh, that's a victory for series one. So it's time for series two. Or for series one, sorry. So it's 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. Got a um a die cut. Probably one of the leaders. Probably one of the like clear cut leaders. Or like the um I forget what they're called now. The clear cut um foundations. Probably a foundations. Here we go. Karlstrom for the stars. Uh, freestyles of Braid and Point for the Bolts. He had an incredible year this year. Yep. For the Leafs, clear cut foundations of Tavares and Nylander. So, case hit with a Larkin center of attention behind it. It's a case hit style card. They look a lot better this year, I will say that. Um, obviously not going to sell for the most, but cool card. When I was like, it's a cool card, it's worth talking about and highlighting because I always like them, they're rare to pull, but again, they don't have the biggest value. So Larkin for the Red Wings on the center of attention. Wow, we're running into the same crop again, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. French variation of Arvidsson for the Kings. Six, seven, eight. Uh, Sandberg for the Jets. 
Canvas of Meryl for the Wild. Because that's pretty weird. Because that's where that pack ended off on. And there's also a Crosby canvas behind it for the Penguins. Uh, Edmund for the Lightning on the defense mechanisms. Uh, Shesterkin for the Rangers. So I feel like we just got two canvases there. Well, how about that? Another Matty Beniers. Seattle is cleaning up. Dan, there you go. Second one of the break. Makar on the honor roll. Debut date of Mercer for the Devils. Young Gun Canvas of Matt Boldy. All right. Uh, Going to be a really tough box to beat. The best Young Gun. Arguably the second best Young Gun Canvas. I, I don't know how Series 2 is going to beat that. It's going to take like a really rare Young Gun pull. All right, here we go. Well, hopefully we see that. I'd love to see it. Got 41, that's not bad. And if you are interested in more breaks, we do have two posted uh, for, I say technically can fill tomorrow. We'll be live again at 4 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Pacific time. That's our stand, kind of our standard break time uh, on a non-release week. Um, but yeah, one's a clear cut mixer that's got three boxes of 2020, 2021 clear cut. Um, some, it's got some, I think, Allure extended, uh, some MVP, just, you know, some different stuff. Um, tried to keep that one, like, lots of cards with the risk of clear cut, so. And then there's an SP mixer, the three boxes each of SP game use. Uh, SP Authentic and SPX. I don't think we've actually opened up any SPX yet, so. I was sick during that time frame. All right, here we go. Ratcliffe for the Flyers. Kachuk on the Pink Dazzlers for the Senators. Center of Attention of Taste for Chicago. Dazzlers of Verhage for the Panthers. Puisinen for the Penguins. Kyle Okposo on the canvas for the Sabres. Uh, rookie Retrospective of Newhook for the Avs. Matthews for the Leafs on the Portraits. Lucas Dostal for the Ducks. I'd say one of the better goalies, like, has good potential from this crop. Brat for the Devils on the Superstar Honor Roll. Shabbat for the Senators on the Defense Mechanisms. And rounding up the box, Hurdle for the Sharks. On the canvas, so good box. No complaints here. Oh, is it ever toasty? Gonna be tough for Series 2 to beat this, like, just... Based off of... Oh, this is in the wrong spot. This goes there. Just... Just based off of how, uh... How that box went, you need probably one of the top young guns in a parallel. Or just any high gloss young gun will win it. Or like, yeah. I think that's what it will come down to. I guess there's technically some rare cards that you could get too, but. 565. Five.
go. Ooh, that's a clear cut, young guns. All right. All right, there's a chance. There's a chance. Here we go. Hopefully it's someone good. I think it's a clear cut Young Guns at least. It's either that or a shark. Uh, Brant Clark, good Young Gun there for the Kings. Braden Schneider on the Program of Excellence for the Rangers. Again, Team Canada cards go to either their current team if they're an active player or most games played if they are uh, retired. So guard for the Senators. Uh, welcome to New Jersey. Shane Wright on the Young Guns for Seattle. Well, Seattle, arguably the strongest team to have in this break. And I mean, they're showing why. Two veneers, one right. Can't go wrong with that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So French of Pavelski for the stars. Four, five, six. Uh, Chisholm for the Jets. Well, not who you want to see on the young gun canvas, but, or sorry, young gun clear cut, but not the worst. I'll put that there. Shifley for the Jets. Uh, Baddock for the Habs. Priestin for the Penguins. Lunchbox Legends Gold of Kyle Connor for the Jets. I wonder what the one of ones look like. Or the, I think there's one of ones of those at least. And Caulfield for the Habs on the Lunchbox Legends. Have we, have we gotten a Dumbo base? I honestly like keep on forgetting to pay attention for a Dumbo base. All right. Well, I mean, hey, it's possible we get a clear cut and an exclusives, right? Right? The clear cut is objectively the rarer card, but uh, I guess we got the foundations as well. And it's honestly a foundations that might sell well, just because it's leaves. Borrello for the Sharks on the Calder contenders. Shankirk for the Ducks on the canvas. Lucas Johansson, Johansson for the Capitals. Kyrie on the World Junior Grads for the Blues. Michelli on the Dazzlers for the Yotes. Aborigi for the Leafs on the Rookie Portraits. Kane for the Oilers. Welcome to New York for the Rangers. Still wish they did the actual city skylines for that. Owen Power for the Sabres on the Honor Roll Superstars. Casey Fitzgerald for the Sabres on the Young Guns. 
Uh, John Tavares on the instant impressions for the lease. And Philip Roos for Chicago. So, nope, that's another uh, Series 1 win. Even with the clear cut young gun. So, that is 2 to 1. I'm just going to get the inserts out of the way here, just because that stack will overflow. And you don't really want that. All right. So it's two to one for series one. Let's see if uh, see if series two can turn the tide here. Okay, box numbers showing there. All right. Lots of sirens lately. Two two zero. Here we go. What are we hoping for here? Um, Owen Power Young Guns. Series one has been nice to us so far. Two of the best, well, I mean, two of literally the best young guns to get and a good young gun canvas to boot. Things you like to see. Michelli for the oats. Freestyles of Robertson again for the stars. Uh, this is weird. This is actually a pretty cool card though. Clear cut foundations of McCann and Gord. So they're definitely on a different case, which is good considering clear cuts are, you know, case hits. That's a nice uh, clear cut foundations though. I think the Kraken one will probably sell a little bit above average just because it's Seattle stuff and they don't have a ton. Uh, Spencer Knight on the debut dates for the Florida Panthers. Two, three, four, five, six. French variation of Boone Jenner for the Blue Jackets. Seven, eight. Jack Quinn. Well, it's not a power, but it's a Quinn. We've got twin Quins. A little bit of a soft left corner on that one, so it's down there. Uh, Zach Hayes for Vegas. Yeah, that's the first time I've said like a Vegas young gun. Population count 1000, Drew Doughty. I really like that they're changing these to um, acetate next year and then keeping that foil. I think that's at least what the plan is. Um, Big improvement. Definitely, definitely we're missing something this year, and I think that was it. Lucas Raymond on the rookie retrospective. I swear we're going to get lots of Detroit re retrospectives. Sharon Govich for the Devils on the Dazzlers. He had a disappointing year this year. Karlstrom, that's our third Karlstrom. And Josh Bailey for the Islanders.
All right. Well, this is beatable so far. It's beatable. But we'll see if it can keep up, if it can increase the tempo. I just want to see uh, what that Kraken clear cut foundation sells for, because I think it'd probably be solid, right? Yeah, it's actually a pretty solid hit, so. That one's actually pretty solid, but again, Kraken are just cleaning up. So McKinnon for the Avs. Center of attention of point for the Lightning. McDavid for the Oilers on the portraits. All right, Seattle, you can stop, please. I'm gonna say if that's our third Carlstrom. Uh, well, this is an extremely good break if you have the Kraken. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no way of like saying anything else. Uh, Tage for the Sabers. The Sabers have been solid as well. Wild are okay. Bunting for the Leafs. But like, Kraken, I mean, come on. That's unreal. Dry saddle for the Oilers. We are running into the same crop so on the inserts, which is kind of annoying. Dry saddle for the Oilers on the portraits. Well, you got McDavid and Dry saddle on the portraits. With a Kolachnuk. Kolachnuk, sorry, for the Yotes. Panarin for the Rangers and more cider on the defense mechanisms. So, yeah, I mean, like if you had the Kraken in this break, you'd be through the roof. Because like that clear cut foundations, I think is probably is looks like it's a. Um, it looks like it's about a 30 to 30 to 50 dollar card, I mean. The nearest young guns are probably similar or probably higher. They're probably like what seventy five, I would say by now. Oh no, they're still they're actually still pretty like sixty, eighty, yeah, in that range. I'm shocked he's not higher, but I think people are starting to come down lower on base young guns, so. Be interesting to see what happens next year. But yeah, I mean, it's still like, you figure each one of those veneers pays for your spot. <laughs> you got three of them. So, and you got the 30 to $50 card, another 30 to 50 in the Shane Wright. Um, pretty crazy stuff. One of those breaks is just like, Yep, they had the right team. You had the right cards come out. Everything was coming up Millhouse. Eight thirty. Gave myself a nice little paper cut there. So we're top between top loaders and cardboard and like the boxes. My hands have never been so beat up. <laughs> I've got cuts everywhere. I'm actually thinking of picking up like a little bit of sandpaper almost because sometimes the top loaders, the edges are so sharp. Especially when you're like trying to sort, you know, somewhat quickly. Wait, that had a Quinn and a Beneers and the population count. How is series two gonna beat this? I guess Slavkowski is on par. So it takes a Slavkowski and like something else that's good.
All right, here we go. Ehlers on the World Junior Grads for the Jets. Uh, Kachekov for the Hurricanes. Uh, Jake Sanderson, nice young in there. Sorry, I just double checking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Sanderson for the Senators on the Young Guns. Nice one there. Instant impressions of Mitch Marner for the Leafs. Rookie materials of Thomas Borderlow for the Sharks. Welcome to Winnipeg, where they don't have an airport. That is a long running hockey Twitter joke. William Carlson for Vegas. Linus Hogberg for the Flyers. Lunchbox Legends of Timo Meyer for the Sharks. Gunther on the Dazzlers for the Yotes. A Kodiak for the Devils on the Rookie Portraits. Soderblom, again, good like value young gun, I'd say for the Red Wings, not the, you know, not the flashiest guy, but actually he's, he is pretty flashy, but tall guy with hands has power play one potential. Definitely one of those ones you want to keep, I'd say. It's like, if they get to the playoffs, he's probably going to be a player that is very effective. I would say at least just given his like play style, at least he's he's got the potential to pop off, right? And that's kind of when you're looking at those like, you know, B, C tier young guns, you're looking for those players that have the potential to hit well in the playoffs. Um, and yeah. Yeah, just tall guy on skates, plays the game pretty well. Pretty, uh, pretty crafty little player. Well, not little, big. He's six foot eight, so. Arguably some of the softest hands in the league. Definitely the softest hands for someone his size. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get something spicy. Konechny for the Flyers. Uh, retired canvas of McInnes for the Blues. Nice one there. I always like the retired canvases. They just It's just a set that works so well with like uh, legend type players. I'll we'll put those there, I guess. There we go. There's your regular Dumbo base. So the other one is a base variation. A tard for the Flyers. Fox for the Rangers. Sam Rukov for the Oilers on the Young Guns. French variation of Perunovic for the Blues. Six, seven, uh, Lintel. For the flames on the canvas. Niels Amon for the Canucks on the young guns. We haven't had a French young guns yet. Sogard on the rookie portraits for the Senators. Population count 1000 of Sanderson for the Senators. So series two wins the population count battle. Veneers for Calder, rightfully so, and MMA for the Oats. Well, I think that is three to one now for series one. Probably three to one for series one. So match point, match point. The good news is I don't think they can get another Veneers Young Gun. 
The bad news is we haven't hit Boldy. Well, I guess we have, but in his canvas. Was that three straight? That was three straight boxes with veneers too. Like, what are the odds? Seven, eight, four. There we go. Here we go. See if we can get something spicy here. Chuck for the Senators. Raska for the Sharks. All right, new crop. Let's go. Taste for the Avs. Uh, Zegris on the center of attention for the Ducks. Kirill for the Panthers on the portraits. Tracy for the Ducks. Cylinder for the Blue Jackets on the Rookie Retrospective. Six, seven, eight. OEL for the Canucks. Shawgren for the Leafs on the Young Guns. Population Count 1000 of Brady Kachuk for the Senators. So third one of those. Senators get in two of them. Senators are having a... It's a solid break now, too, with the Sanderson Young Guns. Two population counts, which are essentially case hits. Maybe two per case, but... McAvoy for the Bruins. Obviously, like, value-wise, not the highest, but still cool cards. Like, stuff that you'd have to open up a lot of boxes to get, so... Do shame for the Predators. All right. Let's, uh, I feel like we're going to get Marco Rossi here. I don't know why, that's where my gut is. Is where my gut is. All right, I just it on the defense mechanisms for the stars. He's been doing really well. Korzak for Vegas on the Young Gun Canvas. Vlasic for Chicago on the Young Guns. Sure, why not give Seattle a clear cut? Daniel Sprong. Jeff Merrick's favorite player. Zegris for the Ducks. French variation of Hathaway for the Capitals. Borderlow for the Sharks. I like Borderlow. 
think he's got a chance to be an NHL like regular top six forward. Merzlikens for the Blue Jackets. Merzlikens. Zegers on the rookie retrospective for the Ducks. Stamkos for the Bolts. McLaughlin for the Bruins. I remember there's a lot of hype around him to start the year, and it's like, yeah, maybe not. Kopitar for the Kings. It's like, he's going to struggle to find a spot in that Bruins lineup. All right. That was beatable, right? Who's our best young gun? Border low? With the population count? That was beatable. I think series two has this one. I think it has a, I think it'll get the dub here. Make it a, uh, 3-2 ball game. Speaking of ball games, the uh, controversy over Aaron Drudge yesterday and the Blue Jays broadcasters was hilarious because um, essentially, if you weren't, if you haven't seen the clip yet, it's eight five five six on the box number. It's not focusing, but um, Judge during his at bat was like would just look over like just move his eyes over to the um to the dugout and the blue jays broadcasters like found it like and said like okay that's really really weird um and we're talking about it and then a few pitches later he did the same thing and just it was a hanging breaking ball and he crushed it from toronto to buffalo um but they're they're just talking about like they've never seen him do that and like it was really weird, which is extremely true. And they were like talking it out and trying to figure it out. And everyone's just like, I think one of them said, um, like, you know, not to accuse him of anything, like, because they weren't trying to accuse him of everything. Everyone's just like, oh, like they're saying that he cheated. And it's like, no, they're just saying it was really, really weird. Like, if you've ever done like live commentary or broadcasting or something like that, Stuff that's off script or extremely different, it's really, and like you're trying to process it and like talk about it is really tough. Like even if he didn't say that, like, you know, it, not trying to accuse him of anything, people still would have had like the same, oh, they're accusing him of cheating comments. It's like, no, they're just trying to figure out what's going on. Cause like, it was weird. As someone who played baseball and watches baseball, it was weird. Panarin for the Rangers on the canvas, so. Vasilevsky for the Bolts. Like, I've never seen that before. Kaslik for the Senators. Like, that frequently and obvious, but apparently it's because the bench was yapping a lot. Gunther on the Young Guns for the Oats. Which, I mean, I, I mean, I'd i get, like, looking over me and, like, I'm trying to hit here if they're just yapping and your manager just got tossed from it. Instant impressions of Spurgeon for the wild. Highlighters, Chris Kreider for the Rangers. One thing I wish about the highlighters is that I like had some sort of mention of what the highlight was. Cause it feels like they were trying to highlight specific moments and just it didn't come across, but yeah. Well, French Young Guns for the Wild of John Lazat. So yeah, this is a, I would say this is a win for series two. Young Guns are the same. And French Young Guns, a little bit of soft edges on that, but French Young Guns, even if it's not the best player, kind of puts it over the top. Line A for the Blue Jackets, so it's 3-2. Lodine for the centers. And we still have a lot of cards left, like. 
It's already a more memorable box. Eichel for the Vegas Golden Knights on the Lunchbox Legends. By the way, had an incredible series. Carlstrom for the Stars. Absolutely shut down Leon Dreisel. There's another Dumbo base. So yeah, that one is definitely the penalty box variation. Uh, Kachikov for the Hurricanes. There's a tow truck coming. That's suspicious. Just can see the back alley of our apartment and whenever you see a tow truck pull up, it's like, ooh, something's going down. Let's finish this box strong so it's a commanding victory. And then series two will lead things off in the bottom of the sixth. Or top of the sixth, I guess, not bottom. By the way, if people would be interested in baseball breaks, please let me know. Um, you might have the potential to use some hobby boxes here. I'm just trying to learn a bit more about baseball products. I, I know them, but like not super well. Cast look for the Senators. I was big into them in Otani's rookie year. Welcome to Las Vegas. Um, I bought a lot of stuff there because there's Vlad, him, lots of good players. Welcome to Detroit. There we go. Well, that's a resounding win. The man of the man of the playoffs really for uh Dallas. Well at least most talked about. Wyatt Johnson. Ivan Barbershev for the Blues. Hunter Drew for the Ducks. Schooneman for the Habs on the Young Guns. Kepke for the Bolts on the Honor Roll. Jack Hughes for the Devils. Reinhardt for the Senators on the Young Guns. French creation of Bluger. That's weird to get two Frenches in a box, but hey, take it. And renting in for the Avs. Can't say I've seen that before. All right. Well, that's a clear victory for Series 2. So it is... 3-2. Let's see what kind of uh, defense it can put up here. Can we have a tie ball game? Our betting man, I would say maybe. Packs shift in these boxes a lot. Three, eight, nine.
Let's see what kind of defense Series 2 can put up. Will it be a Vancouver Canucks or a Dallas Stars? Matthews for the Leafs. Korzak for Vegas. Holloway for the Oilers. Nice one there. Especially if he gets top six minutes. French variation. Wheeler for the Jets. Uh, black and white young gun canvas of Hogberg for the Flyers. Nice to get it. Probably the worst young gun to get. <laughs> One of the worst young gun canvases to get. Wierenski for the Blue Jackets. But hey, it's a young gun canvas, black and white. It's going to have some value at least. Veneers on the honor roll for the Kraken. Why not? Add another Kraken card to the list. Forsberg for the Predators. Lodine for the Senators. The Nuge for the Oilers. That's not a short print, but or not the variation. Power for Calder for the Sabres. Pavelski, there's the man of the playoffs for the Stars. All right, let's finish off strong. Come on, let's see. Uh, I mean, let's see a Slavkovsky. One other Johnson. I'll take either or. I'm not picky. I'm not picky. Here we go. Grant Hudden for the Islanders. A Kodiak for the Devils on the portraits. Michelli on the Pink Dazzlers for the Yotes. Uh, welcome to Arizona for the Coyotes. Uh, Help Eagle Ox. For the Sharks, player that I really liked and wish he got an NHL, more NHL opportunities. Isaiah Ratcliffe, that's for the Flyers, I believe, on the Program of Excellence. I'll have to double check that one, but... I believe that is for the Flyers. Let me check here. I don't think he changed teams. That's really all I'm wondering is if he changed teams. Um, he might have. He might have been in a trade, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, no, no, Isaiah Ratcliffe is Predators. This is for Nashville. So, um, he is, if we just flip over to the, uh, Elite Prospects page again. On Nashville, um, played for Milwaukee to end the year, which is Nashville's farm team, so. It is Nashville. Uh, Line on the World Junior Grads. I mean, that's one insert set. I hope they either do a lot to the design of it or they don't bring it back as the World Junior Grads. Jake Christensen for the Blue Jackets on the Dazzlers. It just... It feels like it falls a little flat. Pearl for the Ducks on the Rookie Portraits. Gunther again. That's our third Gunther. Well, we've tripled up on some young guns, which is kind of wild, but... Not the worst one to triple up on. Uh, 
Grubauer for the Kraken. And Schooneman for the Habs. Well, I will say this. It does not uh, bode well for Series 2 here. I love Gunther, but it is very beatable. So far we have one random to do. I think that's all we can potentially have is one. Because I think both the uh, checklist and the uh, canvas for this guy is uh, wild wild if I remember correctly. So unless we get one of those like clear cut trios as possible the league leaders 820 all right I remember Nashville on the rat clip because that was fun. There's like a part of me that went through my head just like, did he get traded? And it's like, yep, he did. What was that trade? Was he waivers or just trade? What was it? It was, um... It was for future considerations. You real? Connor for the Jets on the portraits. Braska for the Sharks. Well, this is going to be a similar young gun crop to one we've already got. Uh, Marcia So for Vegas. I think this was a uh, border low, so be interesting. Uh, Seth Jarvis on the debut dates for the Hurricanes. Oh, we got it. We got the canvas checklist. Uh, Rossi and Boldy for the Wild. Young Gun Canvas Checklist. Uh, I mean, that's not really recap worthy, but just top load and sleeve it to get it out of the way. Debut dates of Tomasino for the Predators. Border low for the Sharks. Pink Dazzlers of Beneers for the Kraken. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now I can turn the face this way. Uh, of course, the Kraken can get another card. Roman Yossi on the defense mechanisms for the Predators. You know what? The Predators got a lot of stuff, just not a lot of valuable stuff. Vejmelka for the Oats on the Dazzlers. Blankenberg for the Blue Jackets. And Peyton Krebs for the Sabres. Mr. Krebs.
Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you again. You know, it's been a while and, and hey, like even if you've got time just to come and chat and you're not actually like in the break and you just want to watch, like again, I always say like, just feel free to come out. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And I hope that's not something that we do well through our breaks is make it more about the experience rather than just like the pure dollar value of the cards. Um, because like at the end of the day that's my favorite part of breaks as well is being able to share everything with everyone um being able like again i i wish that every single break we could get something insane for everyone um but like just being able to see what comes out talk hockey talk cards whatever it's just it's a lot of fun right and i know it's a bit of a weird time today but yeah another free skates at barzell for the islanders um yeah that's just i think that's why i like breaks so much uh jarvis for the hurricanes like just from getting into them to hosting them, it is kind of just, I don't know, I like it. Eichel for Vegas on the French. So, yeah. Kachekov for the Hurricanes. Well, I think that might push it over. Robertson for the Stars. Uh, Anderson for the Flames. Oh yeah, yeah, like no worries. I know it's I know it's work time. So boldly on the rookie portraits, nice one there. But yeah. Uh Patrol for Vegas. It's yeah. I just it's it's fun talking cards with people, right? Frederick Anderson for the Hurricane. That's why I'm glad we're doing like a lot more YouTube content and stuff. Just I really like it. I have a lot of fun doing it. Kadri for the Avs. And um, you know, it's just it's just fun. Nelson for the Islanders. Our community here is really, really good, and I'm just appreciative of it for everyone. Well, that's the nail in the coffin for Series 1. A nice Lucas Reichel, Young Gun. It does have a soft corner, but, like, uh, if there is one player that is a mid-value Young Gun right now that you might want to speculate on, it is probably this guy because Connor Bedard is a thing, and he is probably, Lucas Reichel is probably Chicago's best player. So, do the math. Uh, there's there's a big possibility. So we got one random to do between Ottawa and Arizona, um, and then we'll do the recap, and then we will call it a day. So yeah, just the one random for the uh, for the Young Gun Canvas, Ottawa, Ottawa, Arizona, Arizona. Here we go. Three times. Once. Twice. Third time. Ottawa. Ottawa takes it. Uh, I think that's like in the grand scheme of things fair because Arizona had a honestly a really solid break. Um, yeah, recap time. Let's go through as you know, we hit both. We actually hit both Young and Canvas checklists. So Ottawa gets this one. Wild obviously get the other one. Um, some of our base young guns, we hit one Lucas Reichel, one Gunther Johnson, two Gunthers, one Quinn, one Shane Wright, two Quinns, three Gunthers of Slavkowski and a Kuzmenko. There's all our young guns. Let me just quickly mentally sort this alphabetically. Speed things up later on. There we go. Uh, base variation, penalty box style of Dumba for the Wild. Again, for Series 2 this year. Be on the lookout for these. They're just in the penalty box or near it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Ratcliffe on the program of excellence for the Predators. This is for the Predators. Uh, we have a Canvas Black of Hogberg for the Flyers. Uh, French Young Guns of Lazotte for the Wild. Highlighters of Kreider for the Rangers. Two population counts for the Senators. A Kachuk and a Sanderson. So, nice stuff there. We got a Young Gun clear cut, which is nice. Uh, Chisholm for the Jets. Not the best one, but not the worst. Retired canvas of McInnes for the Blues. Another population count of Doughty for the Kings. Uh, clear cut foundations. This one's actually really solid. Uh, arguably one of our better hits, actually, of McCann and Gord for the Kraken. Uh, Braden Schneider on the program of excellence for the Rangers. Boulder Young Gun canvas for the Wild, which is nice. Clear cut foundations for the Leafs. Again, if you're going to get one, the Leafs are also pretty good. Anderson for the Sabres on the highlighters. And. Um, 
kind of our top hits, I guess. Um, I mean, the Kotchekov canvas black young guns is always nice, but really, it's a trio of veneers. So, uh, yeah, pretty fun break overall. Obviously, like, Seattle is definitely the team to have in this break. Uh, I'll get this sorted, we'll get it packed out, and we'll get it hopefully shipped out tomorrow. So, or tomorrow or within the next couple days. So, uh, like I mentioned, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be spots in tomorrow's breaks as well. So, feel free to look that up. It might be today, depending on what time it gets uploaded. Just depends on my internet. So, yeah. Uh, thanks again. Uh, hopefully, it was a good little lunch break for people who are having lunch right now, obviously, if you're in Pacific time. So, I'm going to go have lunch. Uh, and get this sorted and yeah, see you next time. Thanks everyone for tuning in.